Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss Laplace transform for division as well as inverse Laplace transform for division. Okay. <clears throat> so let's start Laplace transform for division and inverse Laplace transform for division. So if Laplace of f of t equals to f of s, you know that Laplace of f of t that will be given or you have to identify which is the original function f of t. Okay. So if Laplace of f of t, this is equals to f of s, then, then Laplace of f of t divided by t, this is equals to integration s to infinity f of u du. You can see here I have written small letter f. That means this is our f of s. In place of s, you have to write u. So f u du. I have changed the variable because here lower limit is the same variable s. That's why I have changed the variable s to u. So integration s to infinity f u du. This is the result. Okay, so Laplace of f of t divided by t, this is equals to integration s to infinity f u t. Now here you have divided the function f of t by t, just one time uh, division, okay? If you divide, divide it by t square or uh, if you divide it by t cube, then actually there is no formula for t square or t cube, okay? So in that case, first you have to calculate Laplace of f of t by t using this formula. Again, then again, you have to repeat this method, okay? Then again, you have to use Laplace of f of t by t, whole divided by t, okay? Yes or no? In this case, you will get some results, let's say phi of s, okay? So again, you have to use, suppose f of t by t, this is equals to, let's say, gt. Again, you have to use gt by t, and gt by t means f of t by t square, okay? In that uh, way you have to repeat this process okay now for inverse laplace transform <clears throat> for inverse laplace transform uh, if laplace inverse f of s this is equals to f of t then laplace inverse of f of s divided by s this is equals to integration 0 to t f of u du. This is capital F of t. So in place of t, you have to write u. Okay. So Laplace inverse f of s divided by s, this is equals to integration 0 to t f u du. Okay. Let's uh, understand this topic by solving some problems. Now, first question is very easy question. Find out Laplace of sine 5t divided by t. Sine 5t divided by t. So first calculate Laplace of sine 5t. Laplace of sine 5t. This is equals to, you know, 5 by s square plus 25. Okay. And this is your f of s. Now Laplace of sine 5t divided by t. So this is equals to integration s to infinity f u du. That means 5 by u square plus 25 du. Now you have to simplify this. Here the upper limit is infinity. That means this is improper integral. So you have to solve this integration using improper integral. So 5 is common. Okay, limit capital X tends to infinity integration S to capital X du du by u square plus 25. And you know this formula integration dx by x square plus a square. The formula is 1 by a tan inverse x by a. Okay. So similarly, here the formula will be limit x tends to infinity. The formula will be 1 by 5 
tan inverse u by 5 and integration limit is s to capital X. This 1 by 5, this is constant number. So 1 by 5 is out of this limiting concept. So 5, 5 cancel. Okay, so limit x tends to infinity. So you are getting tan inverse x by 5. This is upper limit minus tan inverse s by 5. This is lower limit. Now, x tends to infinity. If you put x tends to infinity, you are getting here tan inverse infinity. And tan inverse infinity means pi by 2. And in this part, tan inverse s by 5, there is no variable capital X. So that will be as it is, tan inverse s by 5. Okay. Now pi by 2 tan inverse s by 5, this is, that means this is equals to cot inverse s by 5. Actually pi by 2 minus tan inverse theta, this is equals to cot inverse theta. Okay. Now cot inverse s by 5 and you know cot inverse s by 5, this is equals to tan inverse 5 by s. So this is the final answer. If, if you complete your answer in uh, this step, then again, you will get the full marks. Okay, cot inverse s by 5 or tan inverse 5 by s. This is the final answer. Okay, let's solve another problem. Question. Prove that. Prove that. Laplace of integration 0 to t 1 minus e to the power minus x divided by x dx. Okay. This is equals to 1 by s log of s plus 1 divided by s. You have to prove it. Okay. Here the integration limit is integration 0 to t. So obviously here, this is your f of t. And since the upper limit is t variable, so here the variable is changed to x. So you can say that here f of t equals to f of t equals to 1 minus e to the power minus t, yes or no? And here t is divided. So 1 minus e to the power minus t. So what will be Laplace of f of t? Laplace of 1, that means 1 by s minus Laplace of e to the power minus t. That means 1 by s plus 1. Okay, this is your f of s. Now you have to apply division formula. Laplace of f of t divided by t. That means Laplace of 1 minus e to the power minus t divided by t. Okay, very simple. Integration s to infinity f u d u. F u means 1 by u minus 1 by u plus 1 d of u. Okay. So this is equals to, again, this is improper integral. So limit capital X tends to infinity integration S to capital X 1 by u minus 1 by u plus 1 d u. This is equals to. Now, integration of 1 by u, this is log e. So, limit x tends to infinity log of u minus log of u plus 1. And this is s to capital X. So, this is equals to limit x tends to infinity. You are getting log of u by u plus 1 s to capital X. This is equals to limit x tends to infinity log of x by x plus 1 minus log of s by s plus 1. So this is equals to. Now, if here log of x by x plus 1, both numerator and denominator, you have x. So if you divide by x, so that will be limit x tends to infinity log of 1 by 1 plus 1 by x minus log of s by s plus 1. Now, 
for x tends to infinity, this one by x, that will be zero. That means you are getting log of one minus log of s by s plus one. Okay, and log of one is equals to zero. So zero minus log of s by s plus one. So this is equals to log of minus log of s by s plus one. This is equals to s plus one by s log of s plus one by s. Now question is you have to find out Laplace of integration zero to t. Okay, integration zero to t. That means after this, this is your f of s. This is your f of s. Okay. No, actually this is not f of s. Actually this is our f of s. Let's say this is phi of s. Let's say this is phi of s. That means this is the Laplace of uh, f of t by t. Okay. Now you have to apply integration formula. So Laplace of integration zero to t one minus e to the power minus x divided by x dx. And what is the uh, formula? You know, in that case, you have to divide the result. The result means this phi of s by s. So result is phi of s by s. So this is equals to one by s log of s plus one divided by s, hence root. I hope you remember this formula, formula Laplace transform on um, integration. Okay, let me write the formula again. Lap if Laplace of f of t, if Laplace of f of t, this is equals to f of s, then Laplace of <coughs> integration zero to t, f of t, dt, actually f of u du f of u du this is equals to 1 by s f of s this is the formula in this case here we have calculated for f of t by t and this is the result phi of s and they are asking integration on f of t by t that's why i have divided phi of s by s okay very simple let's solve a problem this is quite a, dif uh, a different type of problem okay here you have to find out improper integral using Laplace concept. Okay, this is uh, this is not directly a problem of Laplace transform. Not that this is a problem of improper integral, but you have to solve this improper integral using Laplace transform. Okay, solve question. Prove that. Prove that. Integration zero to infinity sine t by t dt. This is equals to pi by two using using Laplace transform. Okay. So this is improper integral. You have to solve this improper integral, or you have to prove this improper integral. This is equals to pi by two but you have to use the concept of Laplace transform. So let's try this solution. Let's say uh, here f of t is equals to sine t. So first we have to calculate Laplace of sine t. Then we have to calculate Laplace of sine t by t. Okay, then you have to calculate sine t by t. But here the integration limit is integration zero to infinity. So you cannot apply the integration formula because in Laplace transform uh, on integrals, the integration limit is integration zero to t. But here the integration limit is integration zero to infinity. So you cannot apply the integration formula of Laplace transform. Okay, so let's start. First, Laplace of sine t. This is equals to 1 by s squared plus 1. Laplace of sine t divided by t. This is equals to. So integration formula is integration s to infinity f u du. That means 1 by u squared plus 1 du. So this is equals to limit x tends to infinity integration s to capital x 
du by u square plus one limit extends to infinity uh, that will be tan inverse u and the integration limit is s to capital x so this is equals to limit capital x tends to infinity tan inverse x minus tan inverse s okay now for x tends to infinity this is tan inverse infinity tan inverse infinity means pi by 2 minus tan inverse s minus tan inverse s so this is the laplace of integration zero uh, laplace of sin t by t okay now question is how you can prove that integration 0 to infinity sin t by t that will be pi by 2 using Laplace. In my first class, I have told you that the Lapla, the definition of Laplace transform, definition of Laplace transform is Laplace of f of t, this is equals to integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus st f t dt, yes or no? This is the definition of Laplace transform. Now we have to use this definition. Here you have Laplace of sine t by t. This is equals to pi by two minus tan inverses. So obviously in this case, f of t equals to sine t by t. So you can say that Laplace of sine t by t. This is equals to integration zero to infinity e to the power minus st into sine t by t dt yes or no and you know this result is pi by 2 minus tan inverses okay now in question paper they have asked about integration 0 to infinity sine t by t dt there is no term of e to the power minus st yes or no there is no term of e to the power minus st so now, if we put s equals to zero, if we put s equals to zero, so this will be integration zero to infinity e to the power zero, that means one. So I am not writing sine t by t dt. This is equals to pi by two minus tan inverse zero. And tan, tan inverse zero equals to zero. So finally you are getting pi by two, hence put. Okay, again, I am repeating from this part. This result pi by two minus tan inverses. This is Laplace of sine t by t. Now you have to show that integration zero to infinity sine t by t, this is dt, this is equals to pi by two using Laplace transform concept. Okay, our definition is, a definition of Laplace transform is Laplace of f of t, this is equals to integration zero to infinity e to the power minus st f t dt. We can use this definition, okay? So this is equals to pi by two minus tan inverses because here f of t is sine t by t, you know? So integration zero to infinity e to the power minus st sine t by t dt, this is equals to pi by two minus tan inverses. Now they have asked you about sine t by t, integration of sine t by t. That's why I am putting s equals to zero. Then e to the power zero will be one. So integration s to infinity, zero to infinity sine t by t dt equals to pi by two minus s equals to zero. That means tan inverse zero. So you are getting pi by two. Okay. Now try to solve some exercise problems. Okay. There is a very there are many important problems from this division part and this this uh, uh, part that means integral Laplace transform on division. This is very very important. Okay, and definitely you will get at least one question of this type. Find out improper integral. This is very, very important. Okay, try to solve these questions and uh, practice more and more problems. Okay, thank you so much.